I came to Illinois in 1967. I had no idea what I was going to do, except that I was going to be an engineer. The choice for me was obvious that Urbana Champion is the place to be in. I'm so glad that I made that call. When I, when I come to Urbana, I do have a feeling of kind of coming back home. And yes, for various reasons, as I said, this was probably the first place I came to in the US anyway. This is where I kind of saw my first snowfall and things like that. But it's also just that student life in general, I think, always holds a special place in your memory. My eventual advisor at Illinois was visiting the school in India where I was studying. And uh, uh, I was assigned to him as a research assistant while he was there. And so then he said, how would you like to finish your PhD at Illinois? And I said, yes. And I remember calling my mom and saying, I can see cornfields. Uh, I had grown up the son of a city police officer. I had never seen farms. Uh, let's just say, if not culture shock, at least a, an interesting cultural experiment. The, the university, from a personnel perspective, obviously attracts world-class people as students and faculty. And being surrounded and being associated with that was incredibly uh, stimulating. So my PhD advisor was uh, Professor Wang Chu uh, in the EC department. I would say, you know, Professor Chu was my mentor, uh, was the, the special person for me. It was a big department, but the department was like a family. The name of Urbana Champagne lends certain credibility. So when I'm talking to the customers and saying, that, okay, I have a PhD from Urbana Champagne in machine learning, they're like, okay, probably here's someone who knows what he or she is talking about. So after uh, I finished my degree, I uh, graduated in an economic downturn, but uh, because of the credentials that Illinois offered, uh, I was able to tag along with some other alumni that had come uh, out of the school earlier and they graciously offered me a position in research. And from there it was a series of startups that ultimately led to BitTorrent. I did go ahead and go the routine of becoming a professional engineer and I became a darn good one. I worked for Jet Electric, worked on magnetometers and flux meters and what was called a photoelectric recorder. When I left Urbana Champaign in 2003, uh, I was able to get multiple offers even though the market wasn't really good. And I'm now teaching at Purdue University. In addition to uh, doing teaching, I'm also uh, directing uh, a lab. This is a computational electromagnetics lab and we're doing a lot of good research. And I love doing what I do in teaching. And I think Illinois was responsible for my love for teaching. Well, I think, you know, as CEO, you get exposed to so many great things. And the best thing about my background at Illinois was it prepared me for almost anything. Uh, there's no challenge that I see, uh, whether it's a legal challenge, whether it's a business challenge, whether it's a personnel challenge. Uh, Illinois, and especially the Electrical Computer Engineering Department at Illinois, prepared me for almost any uh, uh, circumstance 